In this lesson, we want to talk about the default toolbar as software. As I said before, in the thumbnail panel, you can turn the thumbnail off or on and you can click any image that you want directly here. Or here you can move between the images with this <coughs> button. You can rotate. You can rotate image in any direction, left or right, clockwise or counterclockwise. You can flip horizontal or free vertical. And you can cropping the image, cutting somewhere in the image. Select the cropping and then click and drag. By click and dragging here, you can move the cropping area and you can resize the cropping area by choosing this handle here. Simply. For example, in this area, I want to crop, cut this area. You can in the cropping tool, <coughs> type the direction uh, dimension of this this cropping or the coordination of the cropping and you can save as for example here or save it in desktop in this area and this is a, our cropping area or you can copy that or paste in a software that I, it's very easy it's copy you can uh, close the cropping, right click, and open image from clipboard. It's copy in the clipboard and you can paste it in the clipboard or click and drag and okay. okay. Click on image again. <clears throat> Here is auto zooming. As I said before, you can scroll the mouse for zooming in or out or, or when you click the auto zoom, it's back the zoom to default. Here is scale to the width. As you can see, this is the width of the uh, image and this is the border of the software. If you click, uh, for example, width, as you can see, it uh, constrains the width of the image with the width of the software, as you can see. You can change the scale to height, it constrained height of the software. We can turn off the thumbnail, the height of the software to the height of the uh, image canvas, as you can see. Look at the height. <clears throat> A scale to feed, it fit the image. You, you can show always the image, all of the image, if you increase or decrease the size of the software. It fit to the software. It fit to the software canvas. And fill to a scale, it's zo it zoom um, a little bit the image, but fit to the uh, canvas of the software. As you can see, you cannot see all of the image here, but it fit the canvas of the software. You can click button. Of course, the base way is to scale to fit. It's the base way we can see all of our image. It's important to see all of it. By changing the size of the software canvas. Here, every image has a default size. Okay. In the this button, window fit. Then you click the size of the software canvas fit the size of the image. You can turn it off. This is full screen mode. As you can see, the canvas of the software gone. And just you can see the toolbar and the button. You can turn it off. Turn this Windows feed off and then you can resize it. Resize the software canvas. Here is a start the uh, slideshow. As you can see with this counter, we can slideshow the image. You can hit the escape on keyboard to exit this mode. Okay. Oh, close the software. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Again, you can click and drag this folder and this software. 
Okay, <clears throat> this is thumbnail panel, and this is checkerboard background for seeing in a PNG, for example. As you can see, these are PNG images. You can see the background of the image, the cut image here. You can see the background of the software with the checker, for example, this PNG or any GIF. These are GIF image and also PNG, but these are GIF that has not any PNG or cut. You can see the checkerboard background if you want to see like this. I think it is better to understand, for example, this is an image or this is the background of software. When you can see the background of software like this, it, mean, it, it means that it's a PNG mode. You can see. And be careful about this mode, this button. Move to recycle bin. If you click and uh, if you click this and move it to recycle bin, this item will be deleted also in your folder. Pay attention to that. You can control Z and back it. In the next lesson, I will talking about all of these tools and settings. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release